And as the sun went down just a couple hours ago, we watched a huge crowd converge on the West 7th Street Bridge as they held up their signs and marched down the road. Some protesters got choked up looking at the faces around them. This is what we've been fighting for for over 400 years. And it is finally a big picture right here in downtown Fort Worth. Downtown Fort Worth out of all places. Look at all of these people. No social media, no meme can tell me any different about who is on the front lines because every single race is on the front lines out here tonight. Now, William Joy has been with that group of demonstrators in Fort Worth. William, but how many people are still out there? Hey, Chris, right now we're on the side of the courthouse, but up front there's just a couple dozen or so people hanging out. Police are allowing them to stay there and be together. But earlier this crowd really was remarkable, not just because it was probably the largest crowd here yet, around 700 people, I'd say, but also because it was probably the youngest and most diverse crowd. And for six days now, they have been marching around Fort Worth, calling for change. They're going to do it all again tomorrow. For the sixth straight day, protesters marched and shouted in Fort Worth yes, sir. because they just want to be heard. I have blisters on my feet from how much I've been marching. The group has grown every day to nearly 700 and it's younger. Alexa shared this is her fifth day fighting for equality. My mom can't come out here and protest. I've got to do it for my family. And I think that's why a lot of people are here as well. Thank you. Mayor Betsy Price visited a smaller group as things started around three. More than anything, people want to be heard and understood. Protesters say it's time for real action and for something to change. We're making good progress, but it's a slow, systemic issue. You'll get that. Organizers help the crowd register to vote. It's not about just protesting in the streets. It's about making your voice and by voting. George Floyd and Tatiana Jefferson are just part of the reason the crowd continues to grow. Learn how to recognize human life. How many times can you pick at an old wound before it doesn't heal right? Because this, this has been a long time coming. It's a change that we need. Thursday, they'll meet at City Hall and chant again, hoping others finally hear them. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.